Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs. As you can see, I'm pretty excited about this thing right here. It's a pretty simple device, but something that I think everyone should have in their car. It is a portable tire inflator. And not one that even has to connect um, into your cigarette lighter. So, I've seen those around. I actually have one of those in my car that came with uh, the Jeep that I bought. And my Jeep actually didn't even come with a spare tire, believe it or not. So, I have to rely on things like fix-a-flat and a portable um, tire inflator. You never know when your car might be out of gas and you're not going to be able to. You never know. Maybe your battery's dead or something and you need to inflate this. This is battery powered. So, we're going to unbox this thing like usual and then put it to the test. I'm going to purposely uh, deflate my tires down to where the sensor tells me it's low. And I'm going to charge this and see if I can get all four tires uh, pumped up on the same battery. So, let's see. First things first, let's get it open. I'm hoping it has a carrying case inside. Please. Get a little styrofoam. Sweet, we got a little case, exactly what I wanted, because I'm gonna be keeping this in my trunk, and I don't wanna mess it up. All right, so first things first. Okay, we got a charging port. Would be nice if it was USB-C, but it's not, still, still okay, but something for the future. All right, we got our pump connector here. Looks really good, this is gonna fit my car. Oh, and we do have a car charger uh, to charge the thing up if need be. Good to have. Some silica gel pots, don't need you. And let's see what's in here. Manual uh, registration card it looks like. And then some other accessories here. Cool, just some add-on little things. Here we have a fuse, just little adapters. If um, This works for pumping up pretty much anything um, that you need. Uh, soccer balls, basketball. Uh, tires for your bicycles and obviously car tires, but I'm doing it for the car tires. All right Case looks pretty good Tech light Wow design and feel great. This is what I want to feel when I grab a product uh, right out of the bag feels really sturdy hard plastic rubber grips It's just one of those things you just feels really good, like this is what you want. I want this in my hands right now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is plug it up. I'm gonna see how long it takes to charge. And then we're gonna go uh, assemble this thing and, and try it out. Let's see if it powers on right now. Hopefully the battery's not completely dead. So you do have a pressure gauge that's supposed to let me know the pressure. So my tire should be inflated to 33 PSI. We're gonna see if it matches that and if it works. Also looks like it has a light. Function. Oh, cool. Up front. I mean, this is going to be great for my car. Oh, you can put the PCI. Oh, you can actually set the PSI, what you want it to, and it'll stop. That's perfect. So I'm going to set mine to 33. Nice. And then you can change the units. Kilogram PSI, bar, KPA. Kilograms per centimeters, or I'll leave it on uh, PSI. All right, and this thing uh, was listed at fifty something dollars, but I got it for thirty. So these are one of the things that I, you know, I like the price, I like the build quality. It's looking really good. All right, so I'm gonna get it charged up right now. Okay, quick note after reading the manual, which I'm uh, glad I did. The uh, car charger uh, does not charge the uh, Tac Life. It just allows it to run. So just a note, it's not gonna charge it, but it will allow it to run. Okay, so to charge it, you'll just use your, your charging brick. I'm using a fast charging brick. Hopefully that'll charge this thing faster. Plug it right into the bottom. And you got your battery indicator light. And look at that. A company that shipped a fully charged battery. Sweet, this is awesome. All right, let me go outside. Okay, so now I'm on my uh, tire pressure gauge here in my car, and you can see I got uh, 28, 30, 30, and 26. They should be inflated to 33. 26 I went really low on, so I'm going to see if I can get all four of these up in one charge and see if it actually even gets it to 33. We're going to put this thing to the test right now. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start with the back tire because it's the lowest. So first I'm just gonna screw this in at the base. Make sure it's nice and snug but not over tightened. Okay, feels pretty good. And we're gonna put this right on here. Lock it in. All right, so long press it to power on. Bring it up to 33 is what I want to do and then press power. All right, so it's showing I'm at 26 like I was, like that my car said I was at. Slowly going up. All right, 33 pounds per square inch. Now, if you guys can see, it was at four bars, and it dropped to two, now it's showing three again. Mind you, this is fresh out the box like this. I did plug in the charger, it looked like it showed four, and I didn't get no flashing lights. Maybe it was still charging, maybe it's not. Once again, this tire was at 26 uh, pounds per square inch, and brought it all the way up to 33. It does take a little while, but once again, if you are stranded, who cares? Five minutes of holding this, I don't care. So, back to three bars. Now, my other tires are not as low. We're just gonna go around and see how many we can get um, with this charge. All right, second tire. In, close. Set to 33. And start. This time I'm just gonna let it sit on its own. Watch out, this part is hot. All right, two tires done. Once again, does take a while. And this thing does get hot, be careful. This is really, really hot up top. I probably should let it sit and cool down. I don't know how many tires you're supposed to do. Two tires at 33 pounds per square inch. Same thing, shot back up to three bars. So it's not done yet. Let's move on.
Okay, that is three tires done. This thing has not had a break. Woo, it's so hot, the rubber is. Where the rubber meets the road. And I know the green taps are for the nitrogen, but uh, put so much air in this thing. All right, last but not least, we're gonna do the last tire. It's still at two bars. This thing, uh, it can handle four, I'm pretty sure. Let's do the last one and then see. Yeah, this tire's pretty low too. I'm gonna shut my garage for the lighting. Let's turn this into 33. All right, did it die? Yep, it died on me, but we were almost there. It almost got four tires, you guys. I'm quite pleased with this thing. Tack Life, you're amazing. We're gonna get you inside and get you charged right now. Okay, and that's the Tack Life Portable Air Compressor. This thing did three and I would say 98% tires, and that's with it potentially not even being full charged and it probably can do all four, and that was with them um, pretty low. So what I'm gonna do now, charge this thing up, throw it into the back of my Jeep, and hopefully I never have to use it. But if I do, I know that this thing is gonna be there for me, and it's gonna air up my tires if I need to. That, with the fix a flat I got, should take care of anything I have, unless it's an extreme flat. And if that's the case, we'll deal with it. Thanks guys for watching, we'll see you on the next video. I'll put the link in the description. Bye bye.